Hi, Jason from Valley Honda. Just wanted to go over some small things on a Civic that um, you should know. Um, things that, you know, you might not care about when you're buying the car and looking at the big flashy stuff, but the little things that, that help you feel comfortable with the car after the newness wears off. And that's what I'm going to go over here. I'm actually going to go over how to program your lights to turn on and off on a Civic. A, a 2013, this also works on a 12. 2013 Civic how to make the lights turn off or delay them turning off after you take the key out of the ignition. Uh, also going to show you how to adjust the lock settings uh, when you put the car into park, does it open the doors, does it not open the doors, and when you put the car into gear, does it lock the doors. So I'm just going to go over those real quick. Okay, the way you want to access your menu uh, your settings menu is with the menu button. Um, when you're going to toggle through, you're going to see me doing stuff on the screen and basically liken this to your um, your computer mouse and this is the clicker on your mouse. So hit the menu button right there and then you want to go down to customize settings and we're going to go to lighting setup. And if you click on that, it's going to let you pick the interior light dimming. And basically this is how long you want the lights to stay on after you uh, uh, get inside the car but have yet to start it. So you've got a choice of 15, 30, or 60 seconds. I think the default is 15. So hit 15. That's what you've selected. So now if you go down to the headlight auto timer, this is after you take the key out of the ignition, how long do you want the headlights to stay on? And you can have them turn off instantly. So if you wanted to leave your, your headlights on, if you can see that, your headlights on all the time and then after you get out of the car how long do you want the lights to stay on so if you know if you're in the garage you need lights to see around or enough to get your key in the door you can set it for instantly turn off 15 30 or 60 seconds so let's say I need light to get inside the house so we'll set it for 60 go back this is your door setup this is how you want the the doors to work when you get in and out of the car this is the auto door lock Basically, you can pick for it to not do that at all. Do it when you go over five miles an hour or when you take the car out of park. Let's say you like it when you take it out of park. Also, this is door lock mode. You can pick between whether you want it to do all the doors or just the driver's door. And then the unlock. So when you're pulling up to your house, you put the car into park. If it's just you most of the time, you can have it just unlock the, the driver's door when you put it into park. Or you can go down to wait until I take the key out of the ignition, which would be the setting there. Or if you have kids and there's always someone in the car with you instead of having to let them out, you can do when you shift it into park, it unlocks all the doors. Or when you take, again, when you take the key out of the ignition. So two little things, no big deal. Just something I thought you would uh, appreciate.